During the holidays, this we always hear this story, families want to bring home that cute little puppy, and then the reality of it, of course, sets in not long thereafter. See how, see, by showing you this, we're showing you just how cute they, I mean, and then you put it with the Aww. baby. Um, but you have to be careful because there are puppy scams in Texas every year, and we're being warned here, we are second among the states with the most online puppy selling scams. These are people who go online and post with fake pictures and claim to have a litter of puppies and take a deposit from you, and then you can't find them, you don't get the puppy, your money is gone. I'm gonna call out the designer dog culture here in the Metroplex as a big reason why we are falling victim to this. It is, I have never seen a place where it is such a status symbol mm -hmm. to have a certain breed of dog. And I do understand people want certain, you know, you want, you want, you want, I, 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 I get it, but I've never seen such a place where people you know, see, it's almost like you're getting your car or something, and these are living creatures. So I think part of the problem here is that we're, we're like kind of trying to find these highly sought after animals and dogs and wanting to brag about how we have a certain breed while there are thousands of animals that are, or, you know, might not be that exact breed. Oh, we're definitely. But they, but they, but they need homes, and it's like we keep perpetuating this. Anyway, I, you know, I don't want anybody to fall victim to a scam, but, you know, this sort of thing would be eliminated if we walked our behinds over to one of the many shelters in town. And many of the shelters that we profile on here on, on the show, we talk about rescue a lot yeah, on the show. It's just and so sad. there are there are rescue. There are there's the doodle rescue. There's the the breed that stole your makeup. They have a whole a whole rescue, <laughs> yes, right? Molly, do. that was the, the Great, Great Pyrenees. Pyrenees. So so if you are looking for a German Shepherd or you're looking for a particular breed for whatever reason, or mm -hmm. in our case a Cocker Spaniel, there yeah. are rescue organizations that cater specifically to um, those breeds and their rescue organizations. You can find them on Instagram. They uncovered 242 puppy scams from January 1st to October 31st. This is veterinarians.org. Um, second only to California. And when it comes to price per incident, people on average lose $913 in Texas, second only to... I Michigan, where people lost a little more than a thousand. And I can only imagine that it's because perhaps they haven't been educated on on what what's going on here. That you know, often even if it is a breeder, I know they say reputable breeders, but look, I mean, there's just if, if your heart is for an animal, there are so many that are waiting for you right now at the shelters that don't cost near that. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, they're gonna they they are you know an animal, and you have to take care of them over time. But that initial buy. It's yeah, not nearly it's not, that thousand dollar range. Or, or or even more. Right. So there's our sermon for today. All anyway. right.